Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, daily update uh, on Jasmine. Very, very much necessary because yesterday we got another dump. I think we, we dropped down an, another like 20% or so um, into this support level right here right, at two cents, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we crashed again. Wanted to do a bit of a crash update. Can we actually expect support here or not? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's not looking great, all right? I mean, if, if you look at the markets right here, um, Bitcoin has found some sort of support here, but I, I don't see any indication yet that um, that this support is, is going to hold for Bitcoin, right? And that matters a lot because Bitcoin right now is um, is determining the, the market movements to a, to, a, to a very high extent, all right? So, so you might say, well, all right, well, that doesn't say anything about Jasmine. Yes, it does. Um, but all right, if you, if, if you look at Jasmine right here, um, I think in general, if you if you watch these daily updates I'm doing on Jasmine, I think you would have been uh, prepared um, quite well. I turned bearish on Jasmine, I think right here, so on Saturday or, or Sunday. And since then, it's obvious like, like this, this bearish momentum, it's partially Jasmine. It's mostly the markets, of course. And I, I did not predict the markets to be this bearish. Um, but I think you, you would have been prepared quite a bit if you if you watch my videos. Then 2.5 cents was the main level where I where I said for for like weeks or so I would I said that's a strong level. If we get some sort of a good reaction from that, um, then I might buy Jasmine. But what you can see, and this is also a kind of a, a little bit of education, when a super strong support level like this level at 2.5 with the 786 Fib, 200 EMA, 2.5 cents psychological level, when that level gives nothing of momentum. Uh, because if you look at the order flow, basically since hitting that level, like the short orders have only increased, um, which I, I want to get back to in, in a moment, because this is pretty uh, pretty relevant here that we have so many short orders, but all right. Uh, but no, the fact that such a strong support level is giving nothing was already a very bearish confirmation. Um, so yesterday in the update, I said, I'm, I'm not going to buy unless I get some, some strong confirmation here. And, uh, and that's not what we've gotten. Like we, we'd never broke above 2.5 cents again. Um, so yeah, no confirmation, no buy. And then right now, if you look at the price, it looks very likely that, uh, that we're going to drop down lower. Um, due to the shorts being opened, I do expect some sort of a, a big squeeze up at some point of time, uh, because right now the amount of shorts that are open, I mean, those shorts are going to get liquidated at some point of time. And if you look at the liquidity to the upside for Jasmine right now, what you'll see there is that there is a ton of liquidity to the upside, right? So if you if you go to the three day and basically all the way up to 2.6, I don't think we'll reach that. But basically this entire zone is filled with liquidity. So at a strong support level, I do think we can have a spike up, but I see no reason to turn bullish on Jasmine right now. All right, we are at a minor support level right here at two cents, psychological level, of course. I think it's uh, like the, the, the main level that's interesting to look at, I think is right here at 1.6 and 1.7. Uh, historically, that's a very strong support level. It, we could technically short squeeze at any point of time, right? So if Bitcoin finds support and uh, Jasmine follows Bitcoin, then we could get that squeeze up, liquidate the shorters and drop down um, also from this level. But it seems more likely to me right now that we'll drop down into that support level right here between 1.6 and 1.75. And I do expect that level to hold. Um, it's a bit risky to say, of course, uh, because the markets right now are in, in, in an absolute waterfall. Uh, but that's a level I do think we'll be able to hold at least initially. And then if from that level, and I'll, I'll keep you updated on that, if from there we can gain some momentum, from there we can also get some sort of a, a short liquidity hunt going. Um, so get some bullish momentum on the short term. But I'll keep you updated on that. For now, I think this is what you need to know. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.